What you're about to witness is the story of how my audio was stolen. I woke up and it was a day just like any other day. I looked at the clock and I woke up around the time that I normally do. I looked outside and it was just beautiful outside, so I started my daily routine. I grabbed my robe, I brushed my teeth, I headed downstairs and had myself a bowl of Dr. Pepper. Then I decided that it seemed like it would be a great time to do some editing. So I headed back up to my room, popped open my laptop, and that's when I noticed something different. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> the audio was gone, and most likely stolen. I became scared because I didn't know who could be watching me, so I ran into my basement and hid, and called the only person I knew would know what to do. Dane's girlfriend, Caitlin. Hello? Caitlin, we have a, we have a code red. What's a code red? Caitlin, it's a code red. The audio is gone. I'm the audio is gone, Caitlin. The audio? What do I do? What? I'm so confused right uh. now. After Caitlin offered absolutely no help whatsoever, I began to suspect her involvement in the disappearance of my audio and decided I had to contact the most trustworthy person I could think of. And that person was Dane. There's Dane's house. We're about to arrive, but we had to be really sneaky and quiet. He doesn't know I'm coming at all. And... I think my text messages might be bugged, so I'm gonna have to use the good old-fashioned phone call. Hello? Dane, get out, get out here. Alright. Get out here. Don't tell anyone. Go. I hope you heard that. Oh, there he is. Get it. He's running. He knows what to do. What is it? Put this on. It's been compromised, Dane. Oh boy. The audio. I informed Dane on the dangerous situation that I was in, and luckily he came up with a plan. All I know is I gotta get that flipping audio back. Watch your mouth. Have you, have you went to Clayton's yet? I have not. I, I don't know if I can trust him or not. He seems a little... If you look at his face, he looks a little weaselly. And oh yeah, I know that. Weasels are, are untrustworthy animals. I have an idea. What? Whip this vehicle around. After Dane informed me of his plan, we set it into action. Drop down, drop down. Hold it up. Oh, that's my gosh. He sees me. Break it in, break it in. Okay, I don't think you can. I think he's naked. <laughs> Get out here! Get out! We need you! I don't know. This is scary. Get out! I got this! Get out! Oh no! I'm trapped! At least I'm safe from the water. Ooh! You're gonna die. I will not die ever. You're gonna drown in there. Everyone knows that I'm immortal. You're small. Ah! What happened? I got him. Okay, good. I got him. Give him the test. Who are you working for? The communists. Oh, I think he's good. It's very heavy. I, oh. I eventually used my incredible abilities to shimmy myself inside when I discovered something worrisome. You did it. <laughs> so, do you know anything about the situation? No. It's still available because I don't have What is this? <laughs> what is this, Clayton? What are you what are you watching here? Oh, look what he's playing. <laughs> Dude, uh, I think you have a problem. I do have a problem. <laughs> I decided that since Clayton obviously still had the mind of a prepubescent 12 year old that it was quite unlikely that he was clever enough to steal my audio, but nevertheless I kept my suspicion of him. Do you know what happened to it, Clayton? To the trophy? No, idiot. To what? The audio. Dane did it. I, I, I didn't, didn't I, tell I, me you didn't do it. I didn't do it. 
Right. You didn't do it, idiot. And that was when Clayton rudely decided to take a shower while we were trying to find my audio. Well, go take a shower, Clayton. With you chilling there with the camera? Take yes. a shower. Yeah, right. Clayton. Clayton, take a shower for us. Maybe the audio's in there. The audio's in the shower? Yep. Clay, how's your rate your shower out of ten so far? Get out! <laughs> what is this bothering? I am naked. It's actually impressive. Clay, rate your shower out of ten so far. One. That's a one. That's a pretty bad shower. You should get better. All right, we'll let, we'll leave you to we'll leave you to we'll leave you. Have fun. You have a sock. <laughs> <laughs> As the weasel boy continued to scrub his dirty, mucky body, Dana and I decided to have ourselves a little treat in the kitchen. Magic shots. Yes. Oh, they used <laughs> coke? Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, we're taking shots. What is this? Delightful. French vanilla. Alright. Bottoms up. Mm, that was a big shot. I don't know what to say when people take shots. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheers. It's so sweet. It's pretty good, yeah. Oh, it's, it's like a, it's like crunch vanilla. Almost. Whoa. Raisins. There's something. Oh, raisins. Ooh. I got one in my mouth. <laughs> you only got one. <laughs> I made a bit of a mess, Clayton could that After Clayton was done with his shower and we were done messing around for a little bit longer, we got down to discussing what to actually do about this whole audio situation. Well, since we can't figure out what happened to the audio, that means either Caitlin has it or we have to make our own. That's actually really I think good Caitlin idea. has it. If Caitlin does not, has not stolen my audio, you will have no way of telling who did it. If we bring an airsoft gun and act like we'll shoot Dane in the head if she doesn't tell us. That's perfect. Dane's a hostage. Kaylin's a person. We gotta get information from her. Oh, yeah. Oh, my beanie fell off. That's something personal. Hayden, what are you thinking about right now? And now we tie it with the levels activated. So with the plan decided, we hopped in the car and set it to action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring Dane out into a field and call Caitlin up. <laughs> and then we're just gonna have fun with her. Pull over right here, Clay. As we were walking into the field, I started to question the safety of this plan due to the visibility of our actions to many neighbors nearby, but nevertheless, we persisted. With Caitlin not picking up her phone and us standing out in a field with one of our heads in a pillowcase, we decided that it might be time to give up for the search for my missing audio. For now, the whole Caitlin uh, situation of trying to trick her that you're hostage is a mission failed. If you did take my audio, I did not. But if you, it just hypothetically, if you did, where would you hide it? Probably the most obvious spot that you would never look. In my mind? Nope. <laughs> Wanna go make pizzas? Yes? Well, not make them, but put them in the oven. Sure, I'll do it. At the end of the day, even though we didn't end up finding my audio, at least I got to hang out with some pretty cool boys. And pizza's always a plus, too. And who knows, maybe my camera simply just didn't record the audio. I guess we'll never know.